Hey, everybody. Thanks for checking out this podcast. Today's episode is brought to you by our sponsor, the Fair for Uber Car Program. Don't get stuck putting all those miles and depreciation on your personal vehicle. Instead, check out the Fair for Uber Car Program. I used the program for 10 weeks. It was super simple, and Fair even arranged for Uber to pick me up at my home and drive me to my new car, which was a nice Hyundai Elantra for $195 per week plus taxes. That price includes the car, plus your rideshare insurance, and best of all, unlimited miles. Now, when you compare this program to Lyft's program, the cost for the car is less and the bonuses are more. The program is available in California for now, but there are other programs all across the country. So check the FAIR website for prices in your market. Some drivers are even getting their first week for free. So check it out, download the FAIR app, get a car today. It's a great program. And be sure to use our code, which is RSG100, RSG100, so we get credit for sending you there. All right? All right. Let's start the show. Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. All right, Dojo Nation. Let's talk about Lyft rewards. It seems to be quite the big news item. Lyft came out with a a loyalty rewards program for its drivers called Lyft Rewards. And in this podcast, I'm going to share with you all the essential information that you need to decide if this is something you want to aggressively pursue, switch from Uber to Lyft, or drive more for Lyft during what they call busy times. So let's jump right in. So don't get too excited because it's not offered everywhere in the country right now. It's only offered in 11 markets. This is the exact same thing that Uber Pro did. Uber Pro, which is also a very similar rewards program, uh, launched in, a, in a, a bunch of test markets, and then then they expanded it across the country. But when they did, they changed it, and it was not nearly as powerful as it was. So can we expect the same thing from Lyft? I don't know. But all I can tell you is, don't get too excited. These are the markets. If you're in these markets, you can get excited. If you're in Nashville, Boston, Chicago, Washington, D.C., Denver, Minneapolis, St. Paul, New Orleans, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, Austin, Texas, and New Jersey, then this program is up and running and you are already experiencing it. All right. Okay. So that's where they they are. Now, what are the Lyft reward tiers? So with the Uber Pro, you know, there was like uh, the, the basic level and then there was, I think, diamond and then platinum. Here you've got uh, three levels. You got silver, that's the lowest one. Then from there you go to gold, that's kind of the medium one. And then the next one from there is called platinum, and that's that's the highest you could achieve. So if it comes to San Francisco, to Sacramento, I will be platinum, I'm sure, because of the number of rides I've done for Lyft. Now, in order to reach the gold and the platinum tiers, you have to maintain a driver rating of 4.9. So if your rating is around 4.7 or 4.8, you're not going to uh, qualify at the gold and platinum levels. You need a rating of 4.9, which I think is a little stiff, but uh, later I'll get into what I like and what I don't like about this. Okay, so how do you qualify for these different tiers? Well, 
basically you earn a certain number of uh, points, right? And the way, you, the way you get the points is based on how much money you make, and then each dollar is assigned a certain number of points, and then you build up these number of points, and that's how you get to the different tiers. So Lyft provided us with an example, and I'm going to read it to you verbatim. All right? So it goes like this. Let's say on Saturday you drive six hours. Five of those hours are during your market's busy hours. Okay, and we don't know what those busy hours are yet. Your base fare and tips during those five busy hours is 100 bucks, $100. In your market, you earn three points per eligible dollar. So 100 times three points per dollar equals 300 points. Okay, so in this particular example, each dollar you earn converts into three points. If you do this for five days, you'll have 1,500 points. Okay, so 300 times five is 1,500. If you're silver, then you can redeem those points for $18 in lift ride credits. So one of the things you can earn is uh, credits towards rides, okay, as a passenger. However, if you're gold or platinum, those same points will still get you $18 in ride credits or gets you $15 in cash. All right, now we're talking some cabbage. Redeeming points will never impact your progress to the next tier, so use them, all right? Okay, so basically they're saying, they're going to tell you, Lyft is going to tell you in your market what are your busy hours. So you have to drive during those busy hours in order to qualify for points. Points are based on how much money you earn, which is your base, fare, and tips. And uh, so you're rewarded for getting tips. More tips equals more points. I do like that. How much cash can you really make with this new rewards program? Well, first of all, we're just kind of guessing here because we don't have any numbers. But if we take the example that they gave us and they said for $500 of earnings, you could get an extra $15. So that's about a 3% bump. So that would be a 3% increase on the money that you earn during the busy times. And again, we don't know exactly when those busy times are, but let's say you could you could earn $1,000 in your busy times, that would be an extra $30. So I got to ask you, listeners, does that excite you to make $1,000 driving for Lyft and then you get an extra $30 bonus, basically, is how you could look at it. If if you're at the uh, the top two levels, right? And again, the top two levels are called gold is the medium one and then platinum. And you got to maintain a 4.9 rating. Okay. So it doesn't get me too excited. I don't know if it gets you excited, but it doesn't really get me too excited. Um, what does Lyft Rewards offer to drivers? So there's five basic things that you get offered. So let's go through these. This is what you could get. First, you can get cash bonuses, what we just talked about at the gold and platinum level. And you could you could also use those as credits, okay, at all the different at the three different levels. Okay, so you can get up to this is the second thing, up to five percent cash back on gas with the Lyft Direct Debit card, okay, which is also launching just in those eleven markets. So you get a debit card, you go to a gas station which accepts a debit card, and if you spend ten dollars, you're going to get fifty cents back. Okay, so I, I like that. That's great. All right. I like that. You're not restricted to which gas stations you can use. It's just got to be a gas station that accepts debit cards, which, for example, in California, we have Arcos, and which is the cheapest gas in most cases, and they only accept debit cards. So uh, that would be great. I look forward to that coming to my market. You also get discount on tax services. So if you want to have somebody do help you with your taxes and roadside assistance, okay? Um you also, number four, AT&T cell phone plan savings. Now I'm an AT&T customer. I'd be very curious to see if they could help me lower my, my bill. Um, but again, it's not in my market, so I don't know. And then this is, a, this is a feature. This is number five, which has gotten a lot of press. Uh, so it says exclusive in-app features to let you see trip, time, and direction before accepting a ride. And that's only for gold and platinum drivers with a 90% or greater acceptance rate. So you can see the, the time and direction, okay, which is similar to what Uber offers uh, for their, uh, in, in their program. 
uh, but you have to maintain a 90% or greater acceptance rate. So that means if uh, out of 10 rides, right, you can only cancel one of them, right? So you still got to be pretty selective. I mean, it's kind of reassuring to know, okay, I'm getting a ride. It's going to be a 10-minute ride, and it's going north, right? That's, that's nice to know, uh, but you can only take action on one out of 10. If you take action out of two out of 10, you're going to drop below 90%, and that feature is going to go away, all right? So again, pretty restrictive. So you really got to have a 4.9 rating or higher, and you can only cancel on one out of 10, all right? So how does this compare to Uber Pro? Pretty similar. It's very similar to Uber Pro. Uh, they offer a lot of the same features, same benefits. Uber Pro was offering an eight. It was offering a six percent pay increase um, at the highest level uh, when it was doing the test markets, but then it dropped them uh, when it went national. At this point, Lyft is offering some kind of a cash uh, bonus. Uh, we don't have all the details, but let's say it's around 3%. And that's in the 11 markets. We'll see what happens when they go national. Okay. I just don't know. So what do I like about the Lyft rewards? Well, since I drive primarily for Lyft, anything is better than nothing, right? So getting the time and direction will be great. Uh, that'll be somewhat helpful. If there is a cash bonus, I'll take it. If you can help me with my AT&T bill, I'll take it. Uh, but these are all little pretty small things, right? What I'd really like is an increase in pay. And uh, if it's if it's 3%, that's, that's great. Here's what I don't like about the Lyft Rewards, and I've already alluded to it, is that they've got some pretty stringent, rigorous requirements. You got to maintain a 4.9 or higher rating and a 90% uh, higher acceptance rate. So those, I think, are some stringent requirements. And it uh, doesn't make clear what's going to happen because those ratings change throughout the week right? Because it's only, your rating is only based on the last 100 rides. So what if it goes from a 4.91 to a 4.88 and then back up to a 4.9? I don't know. There are no details are provided there. But if you're, uh, you know, you're, you're, you really have to keep those numbers up in order to, to get those benefits. So that's what I don't like about it. The other thing I don't like about it is this uh, connection to the busy hours. So this is a pretty transparent approach by Lyft to control your driving even more. So by giving you these incentives, but only when you drive when they want you to drive, which is during busy times. So they're trying to change your driving behavior so that more drivers are driving during the busier times when the demand is high. And as a result of that, there's going to be a few little, little benefits to it. Is the program strong enough that you're going to change your driving behavior? Well, that's really going to come down to each individual driver. And if it's a small inconvenience for you to change your, your, your hours, you might do it. For me, to make an extra $30 or so, no, not really that, um, that much of an incentive. I still would probably not drive in the afternoon, uh, you know, the busy time, the rush hour. But for you, it might, it might just make sense. Okay. So what's the key takeaway here? Great. All right. Any, anything that helps drivers, I am all for. Uh, even if it's got some restrictions, which I think are a little too stringent, it's still a win-win if, uh, if you happen to drive during busy hours. Is it going to change your driving behavior? Mm, I don't think so. But, uh, you know, pretty smart of Lyft. They're trying to change your behavior so, by offering you a carrot. So this is the old carrot and the stick. And um, if it's not too much of an inconvenience, you're going to drive during busy hours. Now, if you already drive during busy hours, great. You know, you're all set. You're just going to uh, cash in a little bit and, uh, and it's all good. So uh, I just wanted to uh, get a few questions asked and answered so that you uh, understand a little bit more about this. And the main thing I want to tell you, tell you is that these are all based on these three uh, three month periods. So they broke it out. They didn't break it out by quarters, like January, February, March. Instead, it's February, March, April, uh, May, June, July, August, September, October, and then November to, through January. So it's all going to be in your app, and you're going to be able to see how your points are accumulating. Uh, it's all very gamified. So uh, just uh, just look at your app once the program comes to your market 
and you'll be able to keep track of everything. All right. So great. So that's it. That's what everyone's uh, um, talking about. I'm going to uh, share with you uh, this uh, article. Um, let's see. Here we go. Yeah. So I read an article on in Business Insider, which uh, covered this exact thing that I'm sharing with you. Um, and it's interesting just having someone else's perspective. Um, so let me just read what this article says. Lyft has unveiled a new points-based rewards system for drivers. Again, this is Business Insider. Um, and while many of the perks, like credits for Lyft rides, may not excite everyone, there's one perk for most elite drivers that's likely to become a big incentive, trip details. See, I don't see this as a huge incentive, but uh, I guess for some it is. Usually, drivers are merely told there's a ride request nearby and can choose to accept or decline. That lack of insight makes it hard to know if a ride is worth it. True. For example, driving 15 minutes away for a five-minute fare might not be worth the driver's time true. It's not about what you make on a trip. It's about how much of your time it's going to take, says Michael, a driver in Washington, D.C., said in a recent interview. His last name has been omitted for privacy. Ooh. Other drivers develop their own tools for seeing trip details, like accepting the ride from a block away and canceling before getting to the passenger if they didn't want to take it. Actually, I think I am the other driver who developed this tool, I actually, I certainly made it uh, pretty inf famous and infamous <laughs> on YouTube, uh, but that's uh, that's screening screening a ride. Yeah, that's right. That's how you do it. Um, seeing a trip's destination was an intermittent feature during testing, a Lyft spokesman said. But this is the first time it's been cod codified transparently like this. Those tests sparked interest among drivers online over recent months and led to much speculation about which markets on which trip acceptance rates would trigger the app to show trip details ahead of a ride. So I think, I think they're overplaying that to write an article. Some of those drivers said they started to see the details when their acceptance rate hit 90% or higher, right? So we covered that, depending on where they work. That's key, given that drivers still risk being deactivated if they cancel 15 rides in their last 100 acceptances, according to Lyft's published policies. Well, that's an only an 85% acceptance rate. Um, I, I didn't realize that. So that's kind of interesting news. Uh, according to Lyft's published policies, to unlock the new feature, drivers have to reach the gold tier of Lyft's rewards program by earning points. That second rung also includes a 4% cash back on gas when using Lyft's debit card and $5 cash back for every 500 points. Okay, so that now this one is saying $5 for every 500 points. So so point, uh, again, it's gonna vary by, by each market, but yeah, it looks like it's about the same, about a 3%. But it's not clear how many points it will take to level up to each tier. Uber, by contrast, this is the last paragraph, um, has had a nearly identical rewards program for drivers since earlier this year. On the company's platinum and diamond tiers, drivers can see trip duration and direction. Uh, let's see, there's a link here to Lyft's published policies. Uh, ratings and cancellation, pro tips, uh, cancellation policy, canceling a ride. Your cancellation rate is not affected by passengers' cancellation no shows early rides. All right, all right. So that's that's quite a bit on the Lyft Rewards program. I hope you guys got some great benefit out of that. You know more about what that program is all about. You know what the features are. And when it comes to your market, uh, then you'll you'll get a lot more detail. And you can see if, if you're going to change your driving behavior as a result of it, it comes down to, is it worth it for you to uh, you know change the times that you drive to get into those busy times and contrasting that to the rewards that you can earn. All right? All right. If you're thinking about starting an online business, definitely check out my website at nomadj.com where you can get my free ebook called What's Next? How to Do Online Work You Love from Anywhere in the World. That is nomadjay.com. 
I also do a daily one minute per day podcast called Nomad Daily, in which I share different aspects of life. Uh, Nomad Daily with Jay Creator is available wherever you get your podcasts. People are really liking it. Check it out. You just uh, subscribe, and then every day you're just gonna it's gonna automatically load up, and you're gonna get the next episode, and you just listen for a minute to a minute and a half, and boom, you're done. And uh, it's great. I really enjoy doing that. All right, next episode, more news, interviews, all things Rideshare Dojo for drivers and all of us in the gig economy. I will do my best to bring you the best here in the dojo. This is Jay Crater saying thanks for entering the dojo every Monday and Thursday. Drive happy and be safe out there. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps, and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.